beautiful day here and it is great to meet up with some old friends, you know, that we wouldn't meet that often, you know, and just delighted to be part of, uh, I suppose, a, a great Kerry team at the time and it is great to meet up with old acquaintances again. I was influenced by my own late father, you know, who was a fanatic in Gaelic football and I think ever since I was old enough to kick a ball, I was kicking a ball around St. Brendan's Park where I was born and reared and just progressed to play club football and it was always an ambition just to play in Crow Park and, you know, I think Gaelic football is our life really in Kerry and it is number one, I can tell you that. The first All-Ireland medal that you win, uh, 1975, would probably be, be the highlight possibly, you know, but also funny enough, the, the last one we won in 86, because I suppose you kind of felt yourself that the ship was sinking a little bit and it probably might have been my last day in Crow Park and unfortunately for me it was. But you know, th those two occasions were special, but really any time you, you, you play out in that famous field out there, you know, and you, you come off victorious, it's a special day. When you're young in particular, you know, you can develop um, skills and if you have a weakness, you know, I, I think probably it's more prevalent nowadays than, than most. That most most players are very good two-footed kickers. And I think it's very important if you have a weakness in your game, you know, you can be you can be coached all day long by your coaches, but you learn more on your own, kicking a ball up against the gable end and, and, and trying to improve. And you know, you really can't practice often enough, and that's that's what I would say to kids. I think for an amateur organisation, it's it's probably the best organisation in the world. I mean, when you see this 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 stadium here, like I don't think there's a stadium like it in in Europe, if not in the world, you know. And again, you know, I, I suppose the amount of people that put in voluntary hours, you know, and for for no pay or no gain, and it's just I suppose it's just part of what we are. Well, funny enough, the, the day, the morning tends to drag, you know, I always find that, you know, that when you woke up on that Ireland final day, the first thing you did was, you know, after maybe not having a great night's sleep was shoot to the curtains and see what kind of a day it was, you know, because you always liked a dry day, obviously, you know, and um, then, you know, you did the usual, had mass in the hotel, had your breakfast, you know, and, but I, I always found from maybe 11 o'clock until we got to Crow Park, very 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 long kind of a day and then you get into the dressing room and again you're very edgy and very titchy until, until you get out onto the pitch and when you run onto the pitch then I think you know sometimes the old nerves will tend to go you get a feel of the ball you get a feel, for, feel for the occasion and you know and you're just ready for the throw in then. I think I suppose it's only when you're retired that you realise you're part of a great team and I, you know that's the thing that I look back on you know made great friends and um, and I think we were we were probably coached and trained by the best manager that there has been, you know, in Mick and you know, because we all had so much respect for the man. We'd have done anything for him, and but, but we have me and myself as an individual have a lot to him to thank him for, you know, for for for, 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 for the success that I had, you know.